Hello, everybody. Hopefully you had a nice little break. Um, I'm just sending you a quick little five minute video um, just to review what we did before break. Um, you guys are supposed to be doing the radical review day one and day two. It should be the third worksheet um, in the packet that you have in your folder. Um, basically, all I'm going to do is I'm going to do five problems with you. So you only have nine problems to do on your own today. So um, if you can get that worksheet out or pause it to go find that worksheet and then come back and look at um, problem number one is the square root of 20. I'm going to do um, all the way down. If you're looking at your worksheet, I'm going to do 1, 4, 7, 10, and 13 with you together. So, Okay. Do you remember what we did before break? All you have to do is do a prime factorization. Four times five is equal to 20. Four is two and two. And make sure you drag down your five so it looks like a prime factorization tree. You're looking for square roots. So for every two, you can take one out. So I can take out a two. The five does not have a buddy. It has to stay inside. Final answer for number one is two root five. Number two, sorry, not number two. Number four is the cube root of 432. Okay, we have to factor 432. And I just took my calculator out. 432 divided by four is 108. My four is broken up into two and two. And this is four times 27. Again, if I'm going a little too fast, you can always pause this. So um, bring down your two, bring down your two. Four is two and two. And I'm just gonna kind of hurry this up. 27 is three, three, and three. Three times three times three is 27. Now that it's prime factored, I'm not looking for uh, pairs of stuff. I have to look for triples of stuff. So I'm gonna circle three twos, and I'm gonna circle three threes, and for every three things, I can take out at least one two, and I can at least take out a three, and two times three is six. And notice that this little guy doesn't have enough. He has to stay inside the cube root. So the only thing that has to stay inside the cube root is a two. So that's the answer for number four. Number seven, the square root of one fifth. Do you remember me telling you before break, if you ever see a fraction that's a root, you always break it up into two. So that's the square root of one over the square root of five. Break it up into two separate ones. You cannot leave a radical in the denominator, so I have to multiply the top and the bottom by the square root of five. For every two you have underneath, I can take one out, and the square root of one times the square root of five is the square root of five. Final answer for number seven. Two more, and then you can work on the rest of those nine problems on your own today. The square root of 45, x to the third, y to the ninth. Okay, on the second day, you learn how to do variables and numbers. So the first thing I'm going to do is kind of hurry this up. This is 5 times 3 times 3, because 5 times 9 is 45. I'm doing the square root. There's a little 2 right here, so I need to look for pairs of stuff. I can take out a 3. There are 3 x's. So I can take at least one X out. There are nine Y's. I'm just going to show you that there are nine Y's. Oh, one more. For every two, I can take one out. I can take out one, two, three, four of them. I can take out four Y's. Everything that doesn't have a buddy has to stay inside. So the number five has to stay inside. One of the X's has to stay inside, and one of the Y's has to stay inside. So that's your final answer for number 10. 
And the last problem for today is 13. I'm going to break it up already. It's the cube root of 5 over the cube root of 27y. So all I did was break it up into two separate cube roots. And remember, I'm looking for threes of things, and I know that 27 is 3 times 3 times 3. So I know I need to multiply the top and the bottom by the cube root of something. I just have to figure out what to multiply by. And I'm looking for threes of something. Well, notice that I have enough threes. I have three of them. Notice I only have one y. I need two more of them so that there be three of them. So all I have to do is multiply the top and the bottom by what? Um, the cube root of y squared. By only multiplying by the cube root of y squared, I have three threes and I now have three y's. Everybody see that at the bottom? I have exactly three of each of them because I multiplied by y squared. And for every three, I can take out one three and I can take out one y. Notice that I have no radical left in the denominator. And whatever I do to the bottom, I have to do to the top. So the left on the top is the cube root of 5 and y squared. All I did was put those two together on the top. Okay, I did five problems for you. Just to remember what we did before break, you have the rest of this worksheet to do to, to today.